The Palace of Versailles French, Château de Versailles is a former royal residence commissioned by King Louis XIV located in Versailles, Paris, France. The palace is owned by the government of France and since 1995 has been managed, under the direction of the French Ministry of Culture, by the public establishment of the palace, museum, and national estate of Versailles. About 15 million people visit the palace, park, or gardens of Versailles every year, making it one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. Louis XIII built a simple hunting lodge on the site of the Palace of Versailles in 1623. With his death came Louis XIV who expanded the chateau into the beginnings of a palace that went through several changes and phases from 1661 to 1715. It was a favorite residence for both kings and in 1682, Louis XIV moved the seat of his court and government to Versailles, making the palace the de facto capital of France. This state of affairs was continued by kings Louis XV and Louis XVI, who primarily made interior alterations to the palace, but in 1789 the royal family and capital of France returned to Paris. For the rest of the French Revolution, the Palace of Versailles was largely abandoned and emptied of its contents, and the population of the surrounding city plummeted. Napoleon, following his coronation as emperor, used the Grand Trianon as a summer residence from 1810 to 1814, but did not use the main palace. Following the Bourbon Restoration, when the king was returned to the throne, he resided in Paris and it was not until the 1830s that meaningful repairs were made to the palace. A museum of French history was installed within it, replacing the courtier's apartments of the southern wing. The palace and park were designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979 for its importance as the center of power, art, and science in France during the 17th and 18th centuries. The French Ministry of Culture has placed the palace, its gardens, and some of its subsidiary structures on its list of culturally significant monuments. History of the Palace of Versailles An engraving of Louis XIII's chateau as it appeared in 1652 Versailles around 1652, engraving by Jacques Gombaust in 1623, Louis XIII, King of France, built a hunting lodge on a hill in a favorite hunting ground, 19 kilometers west of Paris and 16 kilometers from his primary residence, the Chateau de Saint-Germain-en-Laye. The site, Near a village named Versailles was a wooded wetland that Louis XIII's court scorned as being generally unworthy of a king one of his courtiers, François de Bassompierre, wrote that the lodge would not inspire vanity in even the simplest gentleman. From 1631 to 1634, architect Philibert Leroy replaced the lodge with a chateau for Louis XIII, who forbade his queen, Anne of Austria, from staying there overnight. Even when an outbreak of smallpox at saint germain en laye in 1641 forced Louis XIII to relocate to Versailles with his three-year-old heir, the future Louis XIV. When Louis XIII died in 1643, Anne became Louis XIV's regent, and Louis XIII's chateau was abandoned for the next decade. She moved the court back to Paris, where Anne and her chief minister, Cardinal Mazarin, continued Louis XIII's unpopular monetary practices. This led to the Fronde. A series of revolts against royal authority from 1648 to 1653 that masked a struggle between Mazarin and the princes of the blood, Louis XIV's extended family, for influence over him. In the aftermath of the Fronde, Louis XIV became determined to rule alone. Following Mazarin's death in 1661, Louis XIV reformed his government to exclude his mother and the princes of the blood, moved the court back to Saint-Germain-en-Laye, and ordered the expansion of his father's chateau at Versailles into a palace. That is all. Subscribe and post comments for future videos.